Hey ya, yeah, it's me Maria Aldre from GroovyWing.com and welcome back to my channel where we talk about personal and professional growth. And in this video, I'm telling you all about my Notion setup and workflow and I also give you some tips on the functionalities and why I love Notion so much. Notion.so is an all-in-one productivity app that has been a game changer for me because it's simple, it's affordable, it's powerful and clutter-free, which is free of distractions, thank God. But what I love the most is its ability to be very flexible to your workflow, to the methods that you use and the way that you think. There are several methods and techniques of productivity out there. The ones that I use are getting things done, uh, building a second brain, um, the checklist manifesto, I also have the uh, sprints and I have a life wiki on my Notion. The reason why I love Notion so much beyond all of the things that I said is because it has helped me channel my focus and attention into my different projects and I was able to stay consistent throughout my information overload and I was able to progress a lot. So let's dive in into Notion. Welcome to my Notion. Yay, it's so exciting. I'm gonna be looking over there because that's where my monitor is. So let's start with saying that Notion, as I said before, is an all-in-one productivity app because it's a mix of Microsoft Office, Asana, Trello, Evernote, and so many other apps out there. I've tried these and even though some of uh, those apps are great, they are missing something important, which is the flexibility that gives me room for error. Notion is not bound to a specific setup like other apps. And now with more functionalities coming out, such as the Evernote uh, importer and uh, Web Clipper, it makes it like a no-brainer for me. During my productivity exploration, I found that my brain works best when I have a step-by-step -step guide. Otherwise, I get too distracted, and this means that my setup is going to be different from others. I don't have a homepage, but what I do is that I have a start here page, which takes me to a simple but effective gamified workflow I created for myself. From there, I can choose to play a character based on the E-Myth Revisited uh, Personalities, which is a must book for everyone who wants to be an entrepreneur or what wants to work independently. It's a must read. And on this page, I also uh, list my achievements and any other rules of information that I feel it's important. These characters have a very different values and goals, and they provide with specific path to take. The technician is the one that wants to get stuff done. It's directed by the manager and follows the system that is provided for her. She is stuck in the present moment at all times. My path usually starts with the habits tracker. It's a page where I log the daily, weekly and monthly habits I set for myself and I can easily see trends and ways to move forward uh, when a week didn't go so well. After I'm done with that, I go to the daily sprints page. In this page, I find a few things I need to do in order to get in the zone. For example, I have my spring slug with this template button where I log the uh, work I did the day before, uh, what I will do the day I'm working and uh, what's blocking me at the moment. This helps me stay very focused on what I want to do. After that, I go into my project management table where I find an organized backlog of everything that I need to accomplish for that sprint specifically. I usually filter it so I only have the things that I need to do that specific week. For example, I can say that I want to see everything that is not completed and 
that has a deadline that is before March 10. By the way, I only update this uh, project management table at the beginning of every week, which is when the manager steps in. After I'm done with the project management, I go into the work cycles, the two hour work cycle, where I do it with the Pomodoro technique um, based on cycles of 30 minutes and 10 minutes, 10 minute breaks. I took this from the work cycle trainings that uh, ultraworking.com, their founder, Sebastian Marshall, is really good to guide you how to get stuff done. The most important thing is understanding what you want to accomplish each cycle and then get a quick feedback after that. So you're able to move to each cycle in a more focused way and you're never off track. Finally, at the end of the day, I add the pages, projects and resources I am using or I've previously used or something that I will probably need in the future. And I do it on, I add it on the save games here after working section. The manager is the pragmatic one that keeps everything organized and structured. It makes the technician's life easier and she's always kind of stuck in the past. This time I must choose a path uh, depending on if I'm starting a new week or month. If I'm starting a new week, for example, it will take me to a weekly plan template button, which you can find on my website for you to copy, by the way. Let me just click here and you can see it. Yes. Uh, the link is in the description and it will take me to the technician's path after I'm done planning for the week. Again, with the habits tracker. If I'm starting a new month, let's go to the manager and I'm starting a new month. It will take me to this monthly plan template button, very similar to uh, the weekly plan. Let's click on that. But it will take me to the next, the, to the new week. So I, uh, after I plan my month, I plan the next week, which then takes me to the technician uh, path. At the end of each sprint, so every two weeks, I go through the re retrospection path manager so if it's a end of the sprint then i do a retrospection which i can find in this section then i click it and it gives me a bunch of questions to ask so i'm able to move forward with ease and i see some things that are un unconsciously stressing me out and things that i'm enjoying the things that i'm blocking me and the things that could have worked better or really worked well. And then I have uh, an opportunity for me to set myself a goal for next sprint, something that will make me more productive and something that will make me happy. The entrepreneur always tries to stay ahead of the game. She's a visionary, a dreamer, and an innovator. She is stuck in the future. Similar to the manager, the entrepreneur plans the next quarter, which calls for a whole freaking day of planning. You can find it here. This is a modified 90 day planning uh, page that I found from Okidoki, I think, and where I can just organize more interestingly the months ahead. And in the entrepreneur place, I can also see the tools that the entrepreneur will most likely use. In order to stay consistent, I really need to make sure that I'm always playing each of these roles. Besides the start page that I already explained, I use another organizational system called the PARA method, which is a universal system for organizing digital information. And it was developed by Tiago Forte at Forte Labs. And PARA means projects, areas, resources, and archives. And they are the four top level categories that encompass every type of information that you may find anywhere. In my projects page, I can find the projects that I'm currently working or using, and they have a defined goal and end in sight. In my areas page, I can find the activities that I need to maintain over time. For example, 
the books I read, my recipes, the exercise I do, my principles and values, and the habits tracker as well I can find here. In my resources, I can find topics of interest and things that I've curated over time. And the archive page is basically everything that I find inactive from any of those ca categories. Finally, I have the inbox page where I dump all of the different things I've collected online and, and the thoughts and ideas I come up with. I use the web clipper and the importer, which are a new thing and they're basically Evernote destroyers. <laughs> If you've been using Evernote, this is gonna be oh, hallelujah. I I seriously should get better at organizing this section. I do it every other day, and it's usually kind of a mess. It has more, even more stuff. You come in a good day, actually. So what I do is I create a new toggle. And uh, I start grouping each of those resources into a new category. For example, it seems like everything here is a recipe, but I kind of want to break it down a little bit more, if that's possible. All right, let's see. Chocolate, angel pie, chicken stir fry, chocolate protein muffins, diet eggs with hats on top. Oh, what? what the hell is that? I don't even know. Uh, there's a diet plan, asado negro, by the way, Venezuelan's power, which is basically, you know what? It's basically beef, beef bourguignon. Like, what the hell? That's another story. <laughs> and there's a 30 minute sriracha chicken and broccoli lo mein. I want that one. Okay, it seems that we have chocolates, we have um, chickens, <laughs> we have stuff. Asado negro, it's going to others. I don't know what this is, so it's a good idea to go back into the pages and see what's in there because, okay, I can just delete that because I don't know what that means. <laughs> okay, delete. It didn't have anything important. Then I have this TED Talks article that I found online that has a, a lot of different TED Talks from creative women that I would like to see. So I'm just uh, going to create a toggle that says, who watch? And now I know that that's pending and I can watch it whenever I need to. After that, I can move, I can move it to my resources, right? Grab my resources. And if there's already a recipe, I can eat, I can, um, streamline this a little bit more. I'm sorry. Here. Recipes. Or I can save it if you already have it into my recipe exercise and recipe section that I have um, there as well. Even I can do that or I can do the other. And then everything is ready and organized and pretty and the inbox is free of stuff and I can save anything I see online or any thoughts that come up to my head. And that's how I organize my inbox. I have a link down below for you to sign up if you're interested, if you haven't done it already and you can get $10 credit and I also get $10 credit because I want to keep using Notion. So go click it. <laughs> they are not sponsoring me. This is not an ad because when I find something that really works for me, I try to tell everyone because it's, it's an accomplishment that this has happened. If you're using Notion and there's a specific feature you wanna find out more about, just let me know in the comments below so I can talk about it in a next video. Thanks for watching and as always, if you like this video, hit the like button below share with your friends if they're using Notion as well, and subscribe to this channel for more information on digital marketing, personal productivity, and freelance productivity coming soon. See you on the next video!